A UK pensioner retiring to live in Spain post Brexit can get free healthcare. True or false? True. Um, I know that this is a really important question for a lot of people. Uh, the agreement that we made, the UK has made with the EU, means that uh, what we call reciprocal healthcare, which is a healthcare agreement between the UK and, and European Union states, continues pretty much as it did before the UK exit. Um, so pensioners specifically, they need to apply for a form called an S1 form, um, which they get entitlement to as soon as they become a state pensioner but they can also include any dependence on that. So a typical example would be uh, one person who's a pensioner, the other one is just under pension age. They can get an S1 form for their spouse, for a civil partner, uh, for children under 26. I mean, I'm not going to sort of all of the, the details on who qualifies as a dependent because it's on the links that we've got. Um, and they get that from the NHS Business Services Authority in Newcastle. Um, all of the details about how to register that S1 form are on our gov.uk healthcare page. And um, so, you know, get the, your customers can go there, your audience can go there, have a look, see what they need to do to register. Um, and hopefully it will be a, a straightforward process. So that, that is fantastic news. We, we hear from a lot of people who are concerned about moving to Spain uh, in older age and don't realise that they can benefit from healthcare provision in Spain. And, and, and in effect, am I right in thinking this gives you equal rights as if you were a Spanish resident? Exactly. That's, that's actually a really good point because um, a lot of people, when they understand that the UK is paying for their healthcare, they think they get everything that they would get on the NHS. But that's not actually true. They get what's on the Spanish National Health Service. They're on the same basis as a Spanish pensioner. Um, and pretty much that means that everything is, is free. Um, general medicine is free. Um, you know, Sarah was talking about primary care, secondary care. That's all free. But the there's other stuff that is subject to charge, and like in the UK, like dental care, for example, is normally private. Um, and there's a ten percent charge on prescription costs as well. Um, but most of that medicine doesn't seem to be a a big a big burden for people. Well, that is good news and, um, and as I said, a, a big relief, I'm sure, for, for, for many of our audience.